Forbes.com calls her a digital marketing growth expert. Here to speak to us today on how to develop digital strategies for growth, please welcome Lisa Apolinsky. I can remember when my client Fred called me. Southern accent and I could literally hear his cowboy boots clip clopping along his floor as he paced back and forth. And he said, darling, I heard good things about you and I got a problem that I think you can fix. And I was like, this is off to a great start. I absolutely want to hear what you have to say. And Fred said, I am a COO of an organization. I started 20 years ago and I grew it from 10 million to 500 million in sales. Okay, I'm not hearing the problem here, Fred. Hold on a second, Lisa. My goal over the next five years is to increase it 100 million year over year. Okay, that sounds like a great goal. Again, not hearing the problem. And he said, well, I was presenting to a potential client and I love this part. It was a small client, about 20 million. Okay, small client. And he said, I did the presentation and they said, wow, I am so glad that we called you in, despite our reservations. And he said, well, what do you mean, reservations? Well, we looked at your website and it's not the website of a $500 million company. And he said, well, what would a website of a $500 million company look like? And he said, well, you know, what would that look like? And they said, well, it wasn't what we saw. Not sure what it would be, but it wasn't that. And that was a real wake up call for him. And he said, I think I need a new website that's gonna help me sell more business to hit this goal. And I let him in on a little secret that a lot of digital marketers will not tell you because they don't know this new paradigm. Digital assets don't sell your company. When I said that to him, he paused for a minute and he said, okay, then what? And I said, yeah, digital assets don't sell your company. However, a bad digital asset will unsell your company in a heartbeat. This is a conversation changer for him. Looking at his digital assets with this amount of growth that he had that he hadn't kept up with. Never thought of it in that term. Fast forward about a year and a half and I had a conversation with him recently and he said, gotta tell you, I kind of was wondering who gave me that advice. I thought maybe, and I love this expression, you were all hat, no cattle which means you had a lot of talk, but not a lot of action behind it. And he said, I just closed a new uh, account and it wasn't a hundred million, it was 150 million. Looking at my digital assets and bringing them up to match where our company is and where they're going, removed the asset out of the conversation. And that was what I needed.